Volvo now continues its successful environmental concentration in motorsport with ethanol engines in the STCC. This year, however, the model has been changed and a huge effort is being put into the C30. But as you see, it's a whole new car. But the powertrain, the E85 concept, is exactly the same as carryover. But we developed a whole new car based on the C30. And we developed a long way in terms of chassis and the rest of it. So it's going to be exciting. And there's a great deal that they have changed before the start of this season. The whole car itself is now based on the C30, which is the biggest environmental effort Volvo are making. But it's a normal customer C30, which we've now developed for racing purposes. Uh, the aerodynamics has changed, the chassis has changed, but the powertrain is still the E85. Last year, Volvo showed that environmental commitment and motorsport can go hand in hand. And the successes could be seen on more than just the results lists. Media interest also increased radically. Yeah, I mean, it began in the middle of 2006 when we started to think about green racing and what we can do. So we developed an E85 engine. We really prepared ourselves under the winter. And then the first race in 2007, we won it. People said that was a lucky chance, but then we went and won the second race. And as you know, second in the championship. The basic design of the C30 has shown itself to be eminently suitable for a competition car. Right now, the final engine tests are being carried out before the start of this year's season. And the ethanol engine that now sits in the C30 is in fact the same that was used last year. However, there are greater expectations of the engine this year as it now sits in a considerably smaller car. The 85 engine in this is very similar in many aspects to what customers get when they buy um, a flex fuel vehicle from Volvo. We develop the basic engine so that it's durable to this fuel. We develop the fuel system so it's tolerant to E85. And then the calibration is developed so we get a really good CO2 value from this vehicle. For Volvo cars, the STCC circus is both important and a perfect way to show that the company actively works for and supports a greener motorsport. Several things go together. It's, it's our home market. We're presenting a car that the customers can see in their own drive the day after. And it's got a green image that goes with it. And we produce some really exciting racing along our, with our other brands that, like BMW and the rest of them. So we're happy to race like this. And the goal for 2008 is quite clear. There shall be a green C30 in top position on the podium this year. I want to present Volvo as a very exciting car to drive and through that I'd like to win some races this year.